Okay guys, this is my probably favorite table. And I use it for a lot of stuff, it lifts up and down and all that good stuff, but Recently, I took this TV from the wall, of course I had to, and put it down. It's one of those uh, pro TVs, whatever, older but good, 65 inch. It is a power hog, that's for sure. That's We're talking about 400 watts, 450 watts, which is equivalent to three normal TVs. But it was a cool TV. And what I did with the table and where the table comes in, when I push the table, boom, you see the problem there. And this is what happened it actually made quite a nice very nice dent right there and that is at a point of no return so there is no fixing this tv anymore it was beautiful while it lasted now it's no longer beautiful but we're gonna do something today with it i'm gonna open it in pieces and see what's inside and if there is any pieces or parts that uh, we can play with and have fun with yeah thank you very much table and uh, thank you to myself for making something quite stupid and i don't know what that is but it's something anyway let's not waste time and uh, let's do it and as you see there's only a million screws and we'll have to go around all of them in a decent manner and get rid of them and lift the cover i guess and see what we're dealing with and without wasting time let's drill it <laughs> get completely done with this commercial TV let me just show you quick a few things might be the first time we uh, first and last time we see them and uh, right here we have all the label NEC multisync v651 and here are the amperage LCD monitor the monitor uh, model is L650U9 and pretty much the rest of it is games and jokes almost off. We begin with this power port, the power switch on and off, ethernet cable, audio jacks, serial ports, DVI, uh, direct port, VGA, HDMI, regular cameras, you can actually plug uh, security cameras directly to this, DS video, the other jack video 3.5, video and audio here on the old fashioned, speakers, and the speaker internal or external this one you can click that button that you see right here for external or internal so you can flip it in both sides and here is where the uh, computer would go there used to be some small pcs that you could actually plug in here and inside there there's other plugs and stuff that connects to and you would see this kind of tv for example or monitor on a bar on office buildings and all that cool stuff but this is the end of the journey for this one unfortunately and i'm gonna keep taking the rest of the screws which is only a million and fifty of them and we'll show you what's inside in a minute
for the other parts. This is what turns on. These are not LED. Well, they call it LCD. And these bars would light up. And if I'm not wrong, they have uh, gas inside. So I have to make sure I don't break any of them inside the room. And that's how the array was put, this whole thing, and that's where the 450 watts would go. That is a power hog. That's one of the panels. This is a pile of the other stuff right here, which I might use for other projects. And this is a pile of screws that makes me very happy. I like that. And here's the diffusers and all that good stuff that I can actually reuse. And here's more stuff from the table, including the frames and all the good, good, good stuff. And I think we are quite done with the disassembly of this one. I have a lot of parts to go through. I actually like these two handles. They're really nice and solid metal whatever and the brackets where you could hang it these are really good for a lot of projects and of course the metal brackets right here this is all good stuff in my eyes at least i don't know a lot of you might think oh this is junk to me this is absolutely not junk to me this is almost like gold and i can just imagine a lot of things that i can do with these parts and all these screws here good luck buying them all good fans right there a lot of good cables the whole io ports here there is a lot a lot a lot of stuff that i had i have to go through pick through separate and use and not to forget that we get a really nice metallic panel right here and the piece of uh, plastic behind here yes that's where the breaking happened so it almost makes this unusable for a lot of stuff but as a diffuser this is really good and with that said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you next time please hit like and subscribe and uh, i'm gonna go <laughs> wipe my sweat bye